So it's uh, day one, we're starting at 12 a.m. And the first thing we're gonna go over is game strategy. So we decided to have three separate firing positions. One right here for the preloads. One bumped up against the pipe for lobbing really quick balls on the field into the net. And one directly in the center in case this position gets blocked. So after talking for a bit, we have decided to prototype three different designs. Um, one design is going to be a straight kind of piston-like shooter. One design is going to be a single flywheel with a hood over it. And our last design is going to be two uh, side flywheels like this. We're going to prototype all of them, um, collect as much data from all of them as we can, and then choose our design. Okay, so the accuracy of the single flywheel with the hood is really good because it's putting a lot of spin on the ball. Um, however, it's not shooting far as you can see in the video. And we think that's because of how much friction there is just on the top hood surface. Um, so now we're gonna continue on with the other two designs. All right, so now we're experimenting with a couple different flywheel, uh, two flywheel designs. We um, changed the size and the spacing of the top flywheels on the tri flywheel design um, to hopefully give it some backspin. Because the top two wheels are a little bit spaced apart, their diameter compared to the ball should be a little bit um, smaller. So that should put a tiny bit of backspin on the ball and hopefully make the ball fly more accurate. And then just by making that space bigger, it should put more and more backspin on the ball and also compress it less because it's not squishing the ball. So as we're building these flywheels, we notice that because you can't keep the motors running the entire match, you have to shut them off. And when you do, all that energy stored in the flywheel just gets pushed all the way back into the motor and heats it up. So we came up with a system inspired by a bike wheel design that as you spin the wheel, um, the motor can spin the wheel, but then when the motor shuts down and lets off, the wheel can continue to coast and continue to um, store all that energy until the motor powers the event, it, it again, instead of putting all that right back into the motor and causing it to heat up. You wanna plug it in? Sure. Which was it, black to black? Yeah. So go ahead, shoot it. All right, so we just tested two configurations of our flywheel shooter, one with a lot of backspin, that didn't quite reach the distance we need to hit the goal, and one with. So this is a scatter plot of the balls with a lot of backspin. As you can see, they're pretty clumped together. That's because the backspin uh, helps them stay together. And then this is the scatter plot of the shooter with no backspin. Uh, it went much further because the energy isn't going into putting the backspin in but you can see it's not as accurate. So we are kind of disappointed with the accuracy of the flywheel. So we're probably gonna move on and try the prototype of the piston shooter. If anyone is interested, this is the compression rate and setup for the flywheel that shot the furthest. So now we have built and tested the piston design. This is the scatter plot for seven of the same balls, and this is a scatter plot of seven of different balls. This is by far the most accurate design, so I think we're gonna go with this. We use a custom plexiglass Nautilus gear in order to pull the piston back. We cut it out using this template, which can be found on the forum post, which is gonna be linked in the description of this video. 
After experimenting with many gear ratios, we finally decided to go with a two high-speed motor, three to one gear ratio to power the Nautilus cam. Next, we started to work on our drive base. We thought that a two to one gear ratio would be essential for defense and for navigating the field. Next, we developed a worm gear mechanism to allow our shooter to tilt to different angles. Next, we added a conveyor system that would feed and store the balls to the shooter. We also added a pneumatic brake allowing us to play to better defense. Finally, we added a system that would change where the ball was hit, affecting the power of the shot. This would allow us to make the layup shot.